Alrighty, Aries, so this is going to be your reading for February 18th through the 25th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. If you're new, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with my messages in the future. And we're going to see what's going on with you guys for this week. If you'd like to get a personal reading as well, all of my information for booking me will be in the description box for you to check out. So please make sure you do check out that information as well as also my information for my other channels and just everything that you need to contact me will be there. My website is www.mysticalcrystals.com as well. That's where you guys can book your personal readings or purchase merch. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's see. I hope you guys had an awesome last week as well. Alrighty, so some of these cards you won't be able to see, but that's fine. Um, it's the message that counts. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get into this Aries. Let's tune into this energy. I'm going to try to fit them all in there. So let's talk about this. Um, I really feel like... I feel like some of you Aries are in a space of... Not really knowing where you stand with someone. Like, you may be trying to figure out what's going on with the connection. You may be in this weird space of kind of, like, walking on eggshells with the relationship that you're in. For some reason, I don't know why I keep feeling this vibe. But some of you guys are having to walk on eggshells with your partner. Or you feel as if, you know, your partner may be sneaking around. And you may be, like, looking for different signs of like okay is this person cheating is this person being honest anything of that sort i'm also seeing here that some of you guys may be in a space of like just not knowing what it is you can't put your finger on what's going on but you feel as if somebody around you may be doing some underhanded things okay some of you guys also may be in a space of maybe cheating on your spouse, okay? If you're not doing it, then don't comment, don't dislike the video because I said that, okay, this is a general reading. It will not apply to every Aries, so I will put that out there. But I really feel like you guys are dealing with somebody who is really trying to be consistently there for you, um, especially if half of them is telling them they want to leave, like half of their intuition is telling them that they should leave but another half of their intuition is telling them that they should stay for others of you this is you this is the energy that you're actually encountering where half of you is like halfway out of it um another part of you is still in it but yeah you guys are definitely um unsure about what's going on with your love life okay some of you guys also i am seeing that like I said, there's multiple people here. Some of you guys are dealing with a third party situation. For others of you, this is like you guys just being scared for your love life overall. Like somebody here is being really charming for some of you guys, like really, really charming this week. And it's confusing to you. Or some of you guys, you just don't even know where the relationship stands with this person. Some of you guys also may get some good news like um through the mail or maybe on social media like some sort of like good news that you celebrate so i would look out for that as well especially if you've been waiting for something to come in i feel as if it may be finally coming in this week okay yeah i feel like some of you guys you put some sort of you put some sort of time or effort into something here and now it may be coming back full force to um, come back. It's coming back around to full force, I guess, give you the benefits of what you planted. So let's keep going. Um, let's pull some cards for your spiritual message. What is the spiritual advice for my Aries? Okay, for February 18th through the 25th. Alrighty, so we have 
share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution, expression. And then we do have trust the nigel. What's that nudging feeling trying to tell you? Okay. In the bottom of the deck, we do have creating heaven on earth. It's happening. So kind of going back to what I was saying in the beginning, guys, about like the fact that you guys have been maybe secluding yourself or being in a space of not really knowing what's going on with your emotional relationships or what's going on with your emotions, period. Like some of you guys may be aware of the emotions that you're supposed to be feeling for someone or aware of the circumstances of your love life but some of you guys are just not wanting to confront that others of you you may be in a space of like wanting to seclude yourself that's just some of you but with whatever you guys are feeling and like i said this is like a feeling that you guys are getting that somebody's up to something um you do need to figure out what is that trying to tell you all right you need to look at the the duality of your situations here Okay, and I feel as if like things are being shifted in your situation here. You guys are definitely creating a blueprint for yourself. So don't be hard on yourself. If you don't see it happening, it's unfolding. So what's going on with my Aries love life for February 18 through the 25th aries sun moon rising in venus love life the energy surrounding it and the advice from my aries when it comes to their connection and the feelings that their partner's feeling for them for this week all right yeah so i keep seeing a lot of cards about red flags guys a lot of cards about red flags so the energy surrounding your connection we have give it a chance and we have worth waiting for so I feel like divine timing is at play with the connection that you're in right now. Um, a lot of things will be revealing itself to you. You just kind of have to sit tight and kind of let spirit take you on this. I don't want to say roller coaster, but this ride to see what's in store for you. And what I am seeing for the guidance, we do have let go of control issues in reverse. So some of you guys, you're not being controlling. It's just you're not, you're not. For some of you guys, you're not trying to have any sort of control in the connection. Like, you're not being controlling, but at the same time, it's like you're not wanting any control at all within a situation for some reason. Some of you guys are not taking control at all of a situation here. And with reconciliation showing here, some of you guys, you need to go ahead and uh, see what's going on with this person. Because some of you guys, you just stop putting work into this connection. Okay? And what I have for the um, the feelings of your person, I do have release your ex and pay attention to the red flag. So if you are dealing with an ex person, this person is definitely um, wanting to release the energy of this connection. For others of you, if your partner is aware of your ex, like you having some pain or issues from your ex, they want you to release that. And they may be like feeling like something's up with you. All right, so a lot of cards about red flags this week, guys. So let's go ahead and do a spread. What's going on with my Aries for February 18th through the 25th, please? Give me a general spread for my Aries. If we see love, we see love. If we see career, we see career. What's going on with Aries, February 18th through the 25th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Alrighty, I think we're good. Ah. Alrighty, so we have the Nine of Pentacles first card. So a lot of you Aries are definitely going to be stepping into a level of abundance. Some of you guys may be taking time to yourself to focus on your finances, okay? We do have the Empress card at the bottom of the deck. So when I saw this, this made me really happy. Some of you guys, like I said, are going to be stepping into some money, honey, um, or definitely taking the steps necessary to come into a sense of abundance. But some of you guys, you're needing to confront your emotions about some things here, okay? Let's go ahead and lay these cards out. Aries, Seven of Swords. That was flipped over. So you guys could be dealing with this energy of feeling like somebody's being sneaky towards you, okay? This could be a Taurus, Libra, Water Sign, whoever, okay? Virgo. 
okay or that could be the third person or some of you guys are going into your own corner because you feel as if again there's other things that you want to work on but the energy coming into the week is the six of cups last week's energy the guidance the focus for this week and the outcome all right and then we're going to use another deck to clarify these cards guys we are and let's back this up all right so what we have here let's clarify these cards the energy coming into this week guys we do have the six of cups energy clarifying the six of cups guys we do have the death card so some of you guys may be ending a situation here from your past um, with maybe a water sign. This looks like a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be heavy Scorpio energy. But there's a situation either ending with the person from your past or there's a situation transforming um, with a person from your past, okay? This could be transforming for the better or transforming for the worse. Um, also with the Six of Cups energy, this could not even be a person from your past. This could be like a soulmate connection or somebody who you share like you guys both share deep feelings for each other like the feelings run deep okay this could be somebody who you have kids with overall or somebody again um where things are transitioning here let's look further what is this death card about yeah some of you guys a situation may be ending between you and another person or again beginning for some of you guys but with the nine of swords this is bringing a level of anxiety to you guys especially if a situation did end here all right, but you're at your wit's end. All right, and this could be with a Gemini, fire sign, whoever, but I'm seeing sneaky energy going on here. All right, and it's coming up on both decks. This is a different deck, and it's still showing up. But what I am seeing for the past energy, we do have the two of pentacles here. Clarifying the two of pentacles, we do have the nine of swords. So I feel as if in the past you guys may have been juggling two people or going back and forth in your mind about some decisions that you had to make about, okay, maybe money for some of you guys, like maybe some highs and lows when it comes to finances, uh, maybe two businesses, um, again, two situations, or you may have felt like somebody was juggling you or highs and lows within the relationship, whatever it may be. I feel as if it was bringing a level of anxiety to you guys and you guys wanted to just focus on your money, focus on your sense of stability, especially if you did put time into a situation and you wanted to see how it would progress or effort. But what I am seeing for the guidance here, I do have the chariot. Clarifying the chariot, we do have the emperor. So I really do feel like you guys do need to move forward here. Make sure that you guys are focusing on the goal at hand. Focusing on where you guys want to be in the long term. And how to like move past any sort of adversities that you did encounter. And focusing on just being empowered. And again, being structured in your approach. Um, also like taking a very logical approach as well. All right, and balancing out your energies, balancing out your shadow and light side. And what we have for the focus, we do have the king of wands energy. Clarifying that, we do have the king of wands. So the focus is yourself, or it could be another fire sign with this showing up twice. But this is so funny. Um, you guys are like either really, really focused on your damn self, or you guys may be dealing with another fire sign who you're very, very passionate about, okay? Um, but this, this energy is showing up double, all right? And some of you guys are still maybe feeling stagnant energy or still holding on to a situation because you want to see things or you're needing to see things from a different perspective all right but i feel as if there is a chance for you to get some healing energy within a connection to put some work in all right and, and if you have a career where it may have been stagnant i really feel like this week it's gonna really pick up and you are gonna get some business as far as um work or anything of that sort all right so if you've been looking for a job i definitely see that coming in possibly but for the outcome of this week guys we do have the seven of pentacles clarifying that we do have the lovers card okay so this may be a situation where some of you guys like you're looking at a situation where you invested time in and you're having to make some head over heart decisions about it especially if this is a relationship or if this, if this is a job or something of that sense you guys are having to make some decisions this week and I feel as if you guys are going to be looking at what's tangible how you can get some tangible energy within your connections especially if it has been a little shaky 
all right so let's go ahead and see what's going on with the cross watcher what's the energy surrounding the cross watcher um how do they feel about my aries we're only going to pull six cards because i usually just keep pulling and just keep pulling so we're going to pull six cards how does my aries cross watcher partner person in question feel about them for february 18th through the 25th All right, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So, all right, so what I'm seeing here, regardless of the sign that you're dealing with, I feel as if this person is feeling a level of dissatisfaction with how things have been going. Um, and they may be wanting to take some time to themselves to work that out. Um, they may have a lot on their back right now. And they may be like wanting to get a sense of fulfillment or they may be trying to find things that are going to make them feel better um, as far as like maybe they have too much going on as far as their career or emotionally. But I feel like this person may also be overindulgent as well for some of you guys. But this person feels like you do make them happy, but like the guarded energy, like you not really letting them in is a problem, but they still are wanting to push forward with you. Uh, they feel as if you guys do have a lot of passionate communication back and forth, but they just want things to be right. They want things to be balanced. They really want things to be um, fruitful in this connection overall. And if you do have kids with this person, they do want to uh, get a level of understanding okay and they want fairness okay so that's what i'm seeing here i hope that i was able to bring some sort of clarity for my aries for this week again if you do want a personal reading of your own so that you can know what's going on with you um, my information is listed below again my website is www.mysticalcrystals.com and i'll see you aries in your next reading bye guys